Hey guys, in this video, I am going to give you a quick and informal review of the Klipsch Pro 4800W 8-inch in-wall speakers. The main idea of this video, however, is to show you how to install these and what tools you would need if you decided to purchase a set for yourself. Now for any of you that might be interested in purchasing a set, of, I bought mine off of eBay. Uh, I bought them from a store so they were brand new out of the box. In the US they run $199 for the pair and it comes with everything that you would need to get going minus the tools for actually installing it. Coming up here I'll do a real quick unboxing for you and talk about a few of the features that these speakers have. template for cutting it out when you have to cut it out into the wall so that's actually very 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 helpful comes with two one for each speaker it's the metal mesh for the speakers it has a nice padding on the back I'll have to look yeah that stays in there that's glued in and one of the things one of the features about these that are cool is this is a paintable surface so for the room that I'm putting them in which you guys will see is a dark gray wall for a theater room so once these are up you can roll these and have them the exact same color as your walls and they blend right in everything's packed very very nicely a lot of protection And there's the speaker. You can adjust the, uh, the sound angle on here and the impedance level in the ohms. There's also for the tweeter, you can adjust that too. So these are, uh, these are pretty heavy duty. This is a, a good size magnet. The weight of it uh, is very nice. Here's your two ports for your speaker wires. And then this is the mounting system for once the uh, the speaker is countersunk into the wall and you turn these, these will flip out and grab onto the back of the drywall and pull it, pull it into it. So the rubber in here is really nice and the actual woofer cone in here is like a, almost like a tweed, like a carbon fiber type material. It's, it's a cloth, um, it's very solid feeling. These are are very well built from what I can tell. Now, I am not a speaker guru or a real tech guru. This is an average consumer review, but out of some of the things I've seen in the stores or whatnot, um, these, these appear to be very well manufactured. All right, let's start getting into the installation. Now, just like any project, if you have to mount something in the wall, you need to know where your studs are. If you have a stud finder, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. You wanna just go ahead and mark the studs on each side of where the speaker is going to be installed. That way you know it fits in between and even as possible. Once you have your studs marked, you're gonna to need to know how high you want the speaker. So you're either going to need to measure from your floor up to the bottom of the speaker or from your ceiling down to the top. Once you have that basic measurement, bring the template in that comes with the speakers and mark the four corners of it so you have a rough idea of where it's going to go. Now once you finish this, you should have a finished product that looks something like this. You could either do dotted lines all the way around the side or just mark out the four corners. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to bring a level in and join the corners that you drew. Now don't expect them to line up perfectly even because from your original measurements, they may or may not be level when you held the template up. This process will get everything brought into level and you'll still have the same perimeter of the template that you need. Once you get your four sides drawn, the next step is gonna to be to cut this section of wall out. You're gonna to need to be careful when you do so to make sure you don't cut across your wire. So try to remember whether you fed it from the ceiling down or from the floor up. 
Now using a basic hand drywall saw, you want to go around the perimeter of the lines that you drew, remembering to be very careful about the wire so you don't cut through. You'll see here at the very end, I decided to use a knife to score the last portion so I knew I would not cut through my wire. After you've cut all the way through, you're going to want to take a screwdriver or something else, poke a hole in the drywall, and that will allow you to pry out the part that you just cut. After you have this out of the way, trim up any excess material that might get in the way of the speaker. Tuck your insulation out of the way and make sure your wire is ready to go. Now once you finish this part, you should be ready to install the speaker. Go ahead and bring it up and make sure to plug the wires into the correct side. Once both terminals are secure, go ahead and flip the speaker around and insert it into the opening. You're going to want to make sure to spool the wire up and tuck it out of the way. Now in my case, I left extra wire in case I ever had to do maintenance, I could pull the speaker away and have a good distance to work with. If you did a good job of cutting your template, the speaker should be a fairly snug fit. It will actually sit in the wall without tightening down the screws to start with. Although it's a snug fit, there is still some room for movement. Take this time to bring your level back and get the speaker to be exactly level before you tighten down the screws. Once you have it in place, go around and tighten up each one of the screws. As you work your way around, you'll feel the screws start to get tighter and the speaker will slowly get pulled into the wall. I recommend using a hand screwdriver to start with until you get feel for how they work. There are pretty lengthy screws, so along the way I did get tired and ended up using my power driver to get them most of the way, but then I still use the hand driver to tighten them up. One of the items that comes in the kit are these small black magnetic plugs. These go over the screw holes once you're finished and make it with a nice finished flush look. Now if you're going to put the grill on the speaker, you probably don't need to use these, but some people leave the exposed speaker and you would want to put these over each one of the screw holes. One of the final steps is to put the speaker covers on if you decide to use them. Just like the little plugs, they're magnetic and once you line them up over the speaker, they get drawn down to the surface. Alright everyone, there you have it. That is the basic installation process of the Klipsch in-wall speakers. If you enjoyed this video and was helpful at all, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. Everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch today, and we'll see you in the next project.